at 7 o'clock. I think we're already down to 34 degrees. So because of the clearing, temperatures are dropping like a rock. 32 at 9 o'clock and low 30s and upper 20s around the metro area by the time we get to 11 o'clock tonight. Tomorrow we are in the 20s out the door. We are crystal clear. However, I think we're going to have patches of frost and you might want to allow a couple extra minutes. You may have to scrape the windshield because the frost will be forming on some of our cars overnight. Staying clear and sunny and 37 at lunchtime and then we're already cooling by the time we get to the evening commute. Outside right now, boy, it's a dark night in Portland. 37 our current temperature and an east breeze at 10 miles an hour. So some places it feels more like it's 29 or 30 and that's because of the breeze. Look at our current temperatures across the metro area. 37 in Vancouver and Hillsborough and Tigard. West Lynn, you're down to 35. We're approaching freezing along the coast as well and 18 right now in Bend. And we had to have a few flurries, believe it or not, across parts of Columbia and Clark counties today. Uh, thanks for those of you who let us know about that. But overall, the showers are ending and that's it for the next uh, day and a half at least. Highs were in the 40s today. We can also say goodbye to those. And the reason is that colder, clearer air is moving in. This is going to clear our skies and really cool us down through Thursday morning is how long this blast of clear air lasts. Then things start to get interesting and that's Thursday night. And I'm tracking snow chances for the valley and maybe even parts of the coast. Now there's two possible scenarios for Thursday night. Both of them involve a little area of low pressure that spins up off the coast. And sometimes these can really kick back snow right at us. Well, scenario number one, what will bring this close to the coastline late Thursday night, kick snow all the way up across Portland, Vancouver and the rest of the valley while southern Oregon doesn't get much. Scenario number two brings this area of low pressure offshore longer and then wraps it back in closer to southern Oregon. So Eugene would get snow, Corvallis would get snow, but Portland probably wouldn't and Medford would get quite a bit. Which of these scenarios is going to play out? Well, right now, our forecast the tools in-house are kind of splitting the difference on those two scenarios. Thursday morning, it's dry and clear. The low pressure spins up the showers by Thursday night, but the evening commute's fine. Then late Thursday night, look at this. It, because it's so cold, the moisture that comes in is all snow here in the valley. And look how our, our rain and, and snow forecast just kind of splits the difference across Portland. I doubt that's going to end up being exactly like that, but it tells you how much we're on the bubble here in Portland while the rest of the valley does get snow. This is 1 a.m. Friday and by morning commute time on Friday, whatever happens, everything is already dropping to the south and it turns out to be a clear and very cold day. But we're going to want to watch those roads for late Thursday night and Friday morning. I will keep you up to date as we track that possible snow. Tomorrow morning, cold out the door and cold in the afternoon. Highs in the 30s most places except 20s for the majority of eastern Oregon. 30s through the gorge. 20s for government camp tomorrow. We start at 25 in Portland tomorrow. We end up at 37 degrees and it doesn't really matter which part of town you're talking about. Temperatures look very similar. Teens and 20s out the door and 30s for highs and this is part of a trend. We'll watch Thursday night into Friday morning for our snow chances. Otherwise we get even colder as we go into the weekend. Saturday I have a high of 30 right now and I can tell you this that will be our coldest day in three years. So it has been a long time since we've seen a stretch of weather like this. And you know, download the weather app. This is a great time to track things, especially with those snow chances for Thursday night and Friday. I went to the Coin News app right yes. there, and all the weather information I needed this morning was right on there. If you haven't downloaded it, do mm -hmm. it now. It's just great information. It is great information. You even have future radar on there so you can look ahead to those snow chances. All right, Bruce. Thanks.